hello everyone and welcome back to my channel this is anuta the crochet world and if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet please 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 subscribe to my channel like share and comment on my videos and today we're gonna do this beautiful pattern for a key ring and here we have made an amigurumi pattern for jellyfish and for this one i've used my 100 percent cotton yarn and for this one i've used my 3 mm of the hook so let's begin so here it is to begin we're gonna have a magic circle here so for the magic circle just have your yarn around your fingers and make an axe here like this now put your second strain of yarn the second strain of yarn at the back have your um, hook and insert your hook in this way so your uh, hook would be below your first strain of yarn and above your second strain of yarn now grab your yarn and turn your hook in this way and that's it this is your magic circle now here i'm gonna chain one now this chain one is not a stitch i'm not gonna count this chain one as a stitch this chain one is only uh, to secure my this magic circle now here into this magic circle we're gonna have six single crochets so insert your hook into this magic circle grab your yarn and make your six single crochets here so that's your first single crochet that's second three four five and six we got six single crochets here now we're gonna pull up our this loose end and our circle will be like this now here i'm gonna insert my hook into my this first stitch and we'll grab the yarn and we'll make a single crochet for my round number two now to remember that this is your first stitch you can have a stitch marker here so put your stitch marker and the first stitch of your every round now here for our round number two we're gonna have two single crochets on each stitch from the previous round so here we have our one single crochet insert your hook into that same stitch for one more time and grab a yarn and make your second single crochet into a second stitch have your two single crochets it's one and two into your next stitch have your two single crochets and by the end of this round round number two you're gonna have 12 single crochets two single crochets into each stitch here it is we have our 12 single crochet for our round number two now i'm gonna take out my this stitch marker and i will insert my hook into my this first stitch of my round number two i will grab the yarn and we'll make a one single crochet for my round number three so this is the first single crochet of my round number three now here for the round number three we're gonna have one single crochet on our first stitch and into the second stitch we are gonna increase our work so it's gonna be two single crochets there it's one and two now the next stitch we're gonna have one single crochet and into the stitch after that we're gonna have two single crochets into that one stitch again next one we're gonna have one single crochet and into the stitch after that we're gonna have two single crochets now keep on repeating this pattern one single crochet and then two single crochets and by the end of this round round number three you're gonna have your 18 single crochets one eight and here it is at the end of my round number three i have my 18 single crochets now i'm gonna take out my this stitch marker and will insert my hook into my this first stitch of my round number three we'll grab the yarn and we'll make a one single crochet here and this is my first single crochet of my round number four and i'm gonna put my stitch marker back on now here first two stitches we're gonna have one single crochet on each stitch so here we have our one single crochet into the next stitch we're gonna have one single crochet and now into our third stitch we're gonna have two single crochets into that one stitch so it's one and two again next two stitches we're gonna have one single crochet on each stitch so it's one and one and into a third stitch have two single crochets into that one stitch so it's one insert your hook again into that same stitch and make your second single crochet now keep on repeating this pattern and at the end of this round round number four you're gonna have your 24 single crochets two stitches have one single crochet on each stitch and into a third stitch have two single crochets into that one stitch and here it is at the end of my round number four i have my 24 single crochets now i'm going to take out my this stitch marker 
and we'll insert my hook into my this first stitch of my round number four and we'll make one single crochet here that's going to be my first single crochet for my round number five and now for my round number five i'm going to have one single crochet on each stitch so by the end of my this round round number five i'm going to have 24 single crochets one single crochet on each stitch from the previous round and then I will repeat my round number five until my round number eight. So for your round number five, have one single crochet on each stitch. And then for your round number six, seven and eight, repeat your round number five. Having one single crochet on each stitch from round number five, six, seven and eight, you're going to have 24 single crochets on your each round. And I'm going to meet you after my round number eight. And here it is after my round number eight, my work looks like this. Now I'm going to turn my work and my work will be like this. And now we will insert our eyes in here. So for that, take any of your stitch and here just above my this last round, round number eight, I will insert my this eye like this it's all nice and secure and now here we're gonna count next four stitches so here it is we got our first eye here so it's one two one two three and we will insert our second eye into over this fourth stitch Secure this eye as well. Here it is, it is nice and secure. It looks like this. Now, for your nose, have any yarn, uh, any black yarn, and I will go here next to my this eye. I will go here and I will go to this next stitch like this. Now I will go on this side, on my this last stitch and I will grab my this nose and will insert my hook, my needle again into that same space. And that's it. here tie a little knot here and I will cut this excess yarn it's here it will go in now for your round number nine here it is now for your round number nine take out your the stitch marker and here we're going to take our back loop stitches so insert your hook into your next stitch and take the back loop uh, remember not like this we will take only the back loop we'll grab the yarn and we'll make our one single crochet this is our first single crochet of our round number nine put your stitch marker back on so that you will remember this is your first stitch in your next stitch have one single crochet back loop only and into your next stitch we're gonna have our decrease so here we're gonna have our decrease and our stitches will be back loop only so here insert your hook into your next stitch grab your yarn and into your next stitch grab your yarn you're gonna have three loops yarn over and spool your yarn through three loops now here we're gonna repeat over this pattern for our round number nine so next two stitches we're gonna have one single crochet on each stitch back loop only and then we will make our decrease here for next two stitches so it's one and two and pull your yarn through all three loops and that is your decrease now keep on having this uh, keep on repeating this pattern and by the end of this round round number nine you're gonna have your 18 one eight single crochets and i'm gonna meet you after my round number nine and here it is after my round number nine i have my 18 single crochets and now we will fill our work with our soft toy feeling so for that one have a soft toy feeling 
and I'll put this inside. Remember, whenever you are um, feeling your work, just make sure that your work is not too tight and it's not too loose as well. Here it is. I guess it's going to be all right. And it looks like this. And now for our last round, round number 10, take out your the stitch marker and we're going to have our decrease here. So for that one, insert your hook into this first stitch. Remember, we're going to take both the loops this time and grab your yarn and again into your next stitch and grab your yarn. Yarn over and pull your yarn through all three loops and put your stitch marker back on so that you will remember this is your first stitch of your round number 10. Again, next two stitches, we're going to make a decrease. So take both the loops. It's one and two. Yarn over and pull your yarn through both the loops. And keep on doing this. And by the end of this round, round number 10, we're going to have nine single crochets. And I'm going to meet you after my round number 10. And here it is. After my round number 10, my work looks like this and now i will pull my yarn and we'll cut a little longer tail because later on we're gonna attach our this circle so leave a longer tail here and secure your this stitch and it looks like this now here you can take out the stitch marker if you want have your yarn and make a slip knot here and chain up 15 one five one two three four five well 13 14 and 15 so chain up 15 and cut your chains and secure your last stitch and now make eight sets of this uh, 15 chains so here it is this is my first uh, chain of 15 i'm gonna make another chain of 15 and make eight set of this uh, 15 chains and i'm gonna meet you after my eight sets of this uh, 15 chains it's one two three and here this i have my this eight sets of my 15 chains and now take your um this head part and insert your hook here like this from inside like this and take your one chain of 15 and just grab it like this into your next stitch insert your hook again like this have next chain of 15 and grab it now knot here so tie up actually this two chain of 15 and we're gonna do exactly the same for our rest of this um, chain of 15 so take each stitch and insert your hook from inside to the outside grab your this chain of 15 And into the next one, your next chain of 15. And tie a knot for this two. And keep on repeating this. And here it is. I put my all tails in. Now this is your loose end this is a working yarn actually so just keep this one aside and put all rest of your this loose ends inside put them in like this and now for this one have your needle And now we're going to close over this work. I'm going to take out my this stitch marker. We don't need this one. And simply 
insert your needle into your next stitch we will take each stitch here and that's how we're going to close over this circle And now just make a little knot here to secure our yarn. That's it. And just put this one inside. And now for the loop on the head, just have your yarn and make a slip knot. And we're gonna have 30 chains here. Three zero. It's one, two, three, 28, 29, and 30. So chain up 30. Got your yarn and have your needle. Now insert your similarly take the second hand as well. Now you just make not here And here it is for your this curvy tails just uh, round them up on your fingers like this individually so that you will get this nice curls on their tails and that's it and I hope you have liked my today's tutorial if you have like please like share and comment on my videos and please 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 subscribe to my channel and I will see you into the next video till then bye